Right, in this video I'll be doing a review of Netrunner 13.06. Now it's based on Kubuntu 13.04. It's also sponsored by Blue System, like Kubuntu is, so I'm not sure what they've got going on there. But anyway, Netrunner is a more out-of-the-box usable distro than Kubuntu is. They've done a lot of styling for you and, and they've pre-installed a lot of applications. Perhaps too many in my opinion. But anyway, they've got its look very much, much like Windows. Could be a good thing or a bad thing. For me, not a very good thing at all. I don't really like the styling, but I do respect the work they've done on it. Well, on desktop, you can see you've got a few different shortcuts. And my computer one's a bit intriguing, but it just gives you some information about your system. Networks, you've got the option here of adding any network shares. So configure mounts managed by KDE instead of FSTAB. Didn't really need to do that though. The network shares seem to be working fine. In fact, I got access immediately into my Samba shares, or we well, could use those with Windows, and was able to access all my data that way quite quickly. This runner's ID is a free cloud storage account where you can get two gig of data, and that's nicely integrated into the operating system. Web accounts, so you've got the option of integrating Google or Facebook accounts. You can install Steam. And lastly, there's a README file. This K I have here is for the Home Runner launcher. That's just a widget I've added to the desktop. I'll come back to that later on. Bottom right, you've got the application launcher. Slightly different style than Kubuntu is, because you don't have the searcher there. The searcher is actually on this cog to the right of it. So you can click that and then start searching for an application that way. And open them from there. Shortcuts there for Home Folder and Firefox. A shortcut there for one of the terminal launchers. That's quite a nice stylish one. Instant Messenger Contacts, Clipboard, Volume Control, Network, Calendar with the missing Google Web App integration that I had earlier on that was working fine until I rebooted. This Home Run launcher I rather like. It, uh, it reminds me of the Unity launcher. So you can search around for applications this way. Or you can type in to search, uh, search in current tab only. So let's just go back up a level and search there. Firefox, yep, there it is along the list. And you can even shut down from there. So you do get a lot of applications pre-installed and a lot of customizations made to Netrunner. One of the useful ones is being able to open the launcher on the taskbar with the Windows key. Doesn't work too well though because I can't get this to run full screen in VirtualBox. Bit annoying, but it crashes every time I hit full screen. Hmm. Searching around in Dolphin was quite nice and fast. We got the previews there on the right hand side for songs and videos and also pictures as well, but of course you can't play pictures. Double clicking on uh, one of these MP3 files opens up the music player. Now it's QMMP. I'm not sure how to use this one though. I can't seem to get like a whole list of files to play. It doesn't really work very well. Or at least I can't see how to make it work. Uh, new list. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's take a look at the rest of the applications. So as you can see, it's split out between applications, games, and web apps. I'll start under the applications and graphics. So you can see we have a couple of image editors. You've got GIMP and Krita. I suppose Carbon being a scaled vector graphics editor is sort of an image editor as well. There's the basic view of Gwenview, Camaso is a webcam viewer, and a couple other things there. Internet, there's quite a variety of applications you've got installed here. You've got an FTP client, you've got Firefox for the web browser, Pigeon Internet Messenger, Q Transmission for the torrent client, you've got Skype pre-installed, and Thunderbird for the email client. Multimedia, desktop recorder, don't know why they've got that there. As I mentioned about the music players already, you also got Caden Live Video Editor, K3B Disk Burner, KMix Sound Mixer, and WinFF front end for FFmpeg. Office, you got Partial Suite of LibreOffice version 4. Games, quite a variety of games pre installed on here. I'm not going to read all those out, but we'll just take a, a look through. There's nothing too heavy in the way of gaming there, although as you can see at the top there, we've got the option to install at Steam. But why this one? Why a DOSBox emulator? Very weird. And the web apps? That just opens up a window in Firefox to the particular website. And just to show another one working, oh, YouTube. 
Now one advantage of Netrunner is that it is pre-set up, ready to use out of the box. So it just means you can view YouTube videos straight away and you can play all sorts of media straight away. Let's just try one here. Uh, hello world and bash scripting. Yep. Yeah. As you can see there, ready to use out of the box. There's quite a few other applications under utilities, system, You've got the Moon Software Center and Package Manager, so let's just open that up. So Moon Software Center is the nice, easy method to install applications. And you've also got the Moon Package Manager, if you prefer to do it in a more basic way. So you've got the application ratings and reviews, and you can go and install from there. Oddly enough, they've also included Snaptic. Got driver manager for installing additional drivers such as like graphics cards with NVIDIA, AMD, or also wireless cards. Well, here's what I thought of Netrunner 1306. Well, it's a very easy to use distro, um, it is easy enough to install. The styling, I thought they did a really good job of getting the transparency effects. I kind of made it look very like Windows 7 would with the aero theme, but I didn't really like that though. Responsiveness was about average for a Linux distro. Number of bugs. I did find one there. I'd got the integration going with Google and it integrated my calendar into the well, calendar at the bottom of the screen there on the taskbar. I thought, yeah, that's great, yeah. But when I went and rebooted, it had gone. It had upped and vanished like a fart in the wind and <laughs> that was just really annoying there. It looked good, but then it went and vanished and oh, very annoying that. Selection of pre-installed applications, I think perhaps there are a few too many there. Although it gives you a good choice if you don't really know what you're after, but if you do know what you want, you're going to have to do a lot of clearing up there. Number of applications available, it's the same as Kubuntu. And good points, well it provides you a very well styled KDE distro that looks pretty similar of the look of uh, Windows 7. And I thought the integrated cloud storage feature, Netrunner's ID, was a really nice feature there. That was something that was missing from Kubuntu. They could never really use the Ubuntu One storage because they just never integrated it properly. But Netrunner, yeah, made it look pretty good there. Although it's only two gigs, so you know, it's not a whole lot. The bad points though, the short support period of nine months, same as every Ubuntu distro at the moment based on 13.04. And also, I think it's only been released for a couple of days by the time I looked at it, but it needed 304 package updates. It's quite a few that was. I think it's mostly because there's an upgrade on KDE. We we'll have to hold it against them for that or not? I don't know, I'm just mentioning it there. Overall, I thought it was worth 82%, which is still a pretty good score. Thanks for watching, see you later.